Hi, thank you for watching today. We're going to talk about the two letter last on every single bottle of champagne that help you decode and understand the producer a little better. And this might help you the next time you go out and pick up a bottle of champagne. So on every bottle of champagne, there are by law need to list one of these choices of two letter which defines what kind of producer um, the champagne house is or how the champagne is made. So let's go down the list, shall we? The first one actually is one of the most commonly seen letter will be the letter N. M. This stands for Negotia Manipula. This means the champagne house doesn't actually grow all of the uh, grape which is used in its champagne. So if it's le less than 94%, they have to call it the Negotia Manipula, so me which means they're buying more than 6% grape from other sources, other producer, other grower, and that's what, um, that's what they mean by NM. Usually the bigger champagne houses does that. Some, from time to time, some of the smaller producer might not have enough grapes or they wanted to switch some fruit that's, ha that's happened before with other producer, and then they will then be forced to uh, label their champagne as NM if you're buying more than 6% of the grapes from someone else. So second two letter you are probably not very likely to see is called the MA, which is Marquis d'Archer. This is a private label. This means a big chain store or supermarket like Costco per se, they neither grow or make the champagne. They simply just bought the champagne and put their own private label on it. And that's what that means. The next one is ND, Negotiant Distributor kind of self-explanatory, so they, uh, it, it is someone who buys and distributes champagne, so they neither grow or make the champagne, they simply just buy and, so, uh, and distribute, it. distribute it. Okay, so these three are kind of the big guys, usually the people with money, the bigger brands, that's when you see this three letter. It gets a little smaller as we go down the road. The next is CM, CM is Cooperative Man uh, Manipulant which means a bunch of, usually you'll see it in a little villages of Champagne, a bunch of different producer and grower kind of get together, they pool their resources, they pour their grape, and they make one Champagne label all together, kind of like a co-op. And after that, we have the uh, Ricotalon uh, Manipulon. This is some of the sommelier's favorite, so I'm going to put a start right next to it. This is what we call the grower producer, the small guy who grows more than 95% of the grapes that goes into their champagne. G generally, you find a lot of really great deals there, and most of the geeky sommeliers love to find wines. That is a RM label. Then next to that, we have SR, the Society de Recollant. So what they do is they um, they don't, it's similar to the co-op here, the difference is they are still sharing resources, but over here they produce it under their own label, whereas the up here, the CM means they pull everything together and they only create one label. This is they just pull the resources and they create their own label. Lastly is the RC, so this is a gore producer that actually uses a co-op co facility to make their champagne. So com sounds a little complicated, I know, but the two most important ones that you are most likely to encounter are this one, the NM, which is mostly of the, the big brand, and the ones that if you really want to get geeky you want to look for is the RM, which is a gore producer, and you can kind of break it down as saying everything up here and above is big production, usually lots of money, big brand. Everything from here and below are smaller producer growers. So if you're one who like to support little uh, mom and pop place and indiv individual grower producer, you wanna look for wines that has these kind of label. Now I'm gonna show you a few examples of how small those letters are on the champagne and how hard it is to find. So let me show you. All right guys, this is bottle number one. Vukiko yellow label cannot get any bigger than that. And to find this two magical letter, you honestly better have really good eyesight because this is all the way down here. So you see N, M, just like we said on top there, the Negotia Manipulon. So it's all the way down here on the bottom of the label N, M. All right, guys, the second example, this is Frank Bonville, and they hide it. He really should advertise this. They hide it even better. Let me see if I can even, let's keep zooming in. Do you see that tiny little RM there right by my thumb? Yeah, that is how small it is. So this is a gore producer. All right, guys, and the last example, we have this 2002 Opal Grand Cru Blanc de Blanc Champagne, and 
If we look at the back label, do you see it? Right here, this is a CM. So this is a co-op champagne where they pull resources and grapes together to make this one brand. All right, that's it for today. I hope you learned something. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you have any question, leave a comment below. And please feel free to subscribe to my mailing list at www.angiesound.com for the newest update and a lot of awesome wine deals. Thank you so much. Have a good one.